Hi guys and welcome to the channel Tarot Diary of a Pisces and on this little corner of the internet we are talking about everything related to tarot and astrology so if this sounds good for you then don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell and also if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out a lot but without further ado let's get right into today's video. So for today's video I thought it would be really fun to connect with you guys a little bit more and show you around my sacred space which you can see um, up here. I have two more places in my apartment that I would consider a sacred space or like an energy place and I will show you these as well after we are done here. But before I show you around I wanted to explain a little bit what a sacred space is. So yeah let's get started. So what is a sacred space? A sacred space is basically a place where you can just feel connected, where you can nurture your higher self, where you can just live your magical side in like my opinion and it does not even have to be what I did like a place dedicated in your apartment to be your sacred space. It can basically also be just a little box or a plate wherever you have space there is even something like a travel altar so you can just bring it with you. But basically what it is, it just is a place which makes you just feel super excited and happy and inspired and just gives you energy. So that's why at the sacred space you can also work with the elements. You can dedicate it to deities, um, to gods, to angels. You can include elements that represent your own beliefs. You can, for example, what I do, work with water, put it in a little ball. You can work with herbs and soil to just work with elements or whatever makes you feel inspired. So what I would basically do is like I have been building up this place for the last two years since I moved here. So what I would do is just whenever I saw something I thought is resonating with me and would like kind of look cute on my altar, then I would just bring it and decorate it and I can definitely say that this space is my favorite place in my apartment. I also where I sit right now have my meditation pillow so I kind of connected these two places because for me all these practices like tarot and astrology also doing witchcraft they all kind of go into spirituality so I try to calm down as much as possible here in this little area and yeah it just brings me so much joy i feel like a real witch when i come in here but i have to admit i'm not 100 percent happy with how it looks right now first reason is i am planning to move country soon and second is my apartment is just tiny <laughs> so i don't have really a lot of opportunities i would want to have one whole room just dedicated to my tarot work and also my sacred space so where I can just really calm down. Um, yeah this is what I think a sacred space is and also if you see items that you like don't feel the need you have to buy them, don't feel the need you have to do anything I did. I just put it up there like how I wanted it to be and what I think is like representing my magic side the best and I think this is what an altar should be like just reflect your own magic self your higher self out into the physical world and this is basically what I did so don't feel the pressure to buy any of the things I have or do anything I did because basically there is no right or wrong as I said you could just take a shoe box and put candles inside, little crystals and stuff like this and this could be your sacred space if there is no other opportunity right now for you and this is okay. So yeah, just try to build your altar, your sacred space the way you want it to and don't feel the need you have to buy things that you maybe see in other videos or from other M creators because you think you have to, this is not the case. Always do what feels right for you and what inspires you. So yeah, I hope this helped you. And now I will just show you around a little bit. Yeah, let's get started. So this is the whole area I dedicated to my sacred place. I will show you in detail in a second. But basically what you see right here is 
the view when I wake up. My bed is on the right side and I'm currently sitting on it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I had to buy this little thing because I just had not placed enough um, for my books. And as you can see, I keep the books I'm currently reading before sleeping. And I also have my tarot books here because first they look really pretty and I just like to look through them and maybe repeat what I learned a long time ago. Also I like to get as many interpretations for the cards as possible. So yeah, I would always read for more books if I yeah want to restudy. <laughs> Also, this book is really good and I will show you why. You get the interpretations for the cards, like the keywords and stuff. Also a more detailed description. And also you get kind of actions you can take or kind of inspiration what you could do right now because you draw the card. So this book is really good and I liked it a lot. Also, I think this is kind of the classic book <laughs> everyone will recommend you when you want to start learning tarot. So yeah, I also really like this one. So this is basically, as I said, when I wake up, I also have this little cloth thingy I just decorated today because I also cleansed my sacred space. And all these oils are from the Goddess Provision box, as well as this cloth um, thingy. <laughs> I don't know how you call it in English, but yeah. So not sponsored or anything, but I got a lot of items for my sacred space from the Goddess Provision subscription box. So next we have this little moon face hanger. And I'm so happy I just found this bay leaves, I think they are called in English. And I just always wanted to have green on my altar and I'm so happy because they have such power. And I just did a ritual with them. So yeah, we have this moon face hanger, which I also really like. Then next we come to the altar itself. And for first, this is probably one of the, yeah, my favorite things in my whole apartment. It's a salt lamp just making such a beautiful light and whenever it's on it I'm just so inspired and happy so I have used this I think for like seven or eight years so this is one of my favorite things in the world even though it probably weighs a ton but yeah I would never get rid of it so next we have this little set where my tarot cards are inside that I use on a daily basis and I will try to just show you I just used the classic ones just that basically every single person <laughs> has but they are just the normal tarot cards I don't know I just like the classic images and I would always reach for these instead of like modern decks even though I really love modern decks as well but for me it's like I don't know I just connected with these cards so much and I feel like there's so many more interpretations and lessons and things I have to learn from them so yeah, I would daily, like with a daily card or something like that, reach for these cards. Um, I also have this plate, which was also from the Goddess Provisions. Again, not sponsored. I just really love these boxes. Yeah, I just like to, for example, keep crystals or my tarot cards um, on it. And it just looks pretty. I also always have some cleansing spray. Again, this is from the Goddess Provision box, but I also have other ones. But I like to declutter my altar on a regular basis. And what I would do is I would declutter the whole area and then just clean with a wet tissue and then just reorganize everything to just keep out the decluttered energies and stuff. Yeah, this is that. Also, one of my favorite things is my wand. And I got it from Etsy and she made it herself which I think is so amazing I also think about decorating it with like more crystals but then again I'm like okay it's super pretty as it is and also as you can see I just have crystals you will find them everywhere in my house basically so yeah I think I have to turn off this light so you can see better and this thingy is a card holder and I would put my card of the day inside. Again, this is also from Goddess Provisions. I think they have really cool stuff. That's why I keep going back to them. 
and my second favorite thing in the world is this little drawer where I just keep my um, jewelries and yeah just have more crystal bracelets and some other jewelry that I would probably just declutter um, but yeah I got this on eBay for I think seven euro or so and the coolest thing is I can show you you can open these little drawers and inside you can put your jewelry and on the other side you can actually put little oils and stuff so yeah I think this was just such a good buy and I just love it it looks so cool and on top of it I just collect crystals and a protection candle also I have tea candle holder here, a bracelet with amethyst here and this little thing I got from my mother because it just reminds me of myself. <laughs> Always daydreaming, reading and just yeah, being in my own head. <laughs> it's basically what this reminds me of. Then next I have the Rider Waite tarot deck box here. I also have a thing where I keep my jewelry and yeah, it's like a palm reading thing, which I really like. And I also have this little container here, which also includes a sachet with bay leaves. And again, they are so powerful. I just made a ritual. I wrote on it what I want to manifest. And I put it on like in the money place I have. I will show you later. So this is that. And I also have a little container with sage and paolo santo wood which i am using to cleanse my area i also have gemstones here this little thing is from japan and also there is some i don't know how they are called again from goddess provisions i use them when i meditate and to just get back into the moment so up on my wall I have this dream catcher and I received it a few years ago when I participated in a Japanese fashion swap and yeah the girl made this for me it's actually like, like handmade and next we have the moon calendars like the moon cycles from 2021 and also the new one from 2022 and again this is from the goddess provisions i just think they look so cool this is basically the area that i am working with and i really love it as i said i would love to dedicate a whole room to my practices but this is the place and usually here would be like my meditation pillow and stuff but basically it's in the living room because i just filmed a reading and yeah, this is my sacred place. And again, I would love to decorate with more like flower ornaments here and just make it more woody. I don't know how to say like more natural looking, um, but I'm happy with how it is right now. As I said, I think this little container itself is just the best and cutest thing in the whole world. This is what my altar looks like and now let's take a look at the other two places I promised to show you so now we are actually in my living room and this is what I basically meant when I said you can make a sacred space everywhere and out of everything I bought this for five euro I think and I just put on top my favorite crystals which is this huge citrine that I bought a few years ago also there is like smaller citrine which looks more golden, I really love it. Also there is this little amethyst um, pyramid also from the goddess provisions. When you meditate you can put it on your third eye. And there is more amethyst. So yeah these are just my favorite crystals and I want to see them all day long because I am currently working a lot so I just want to feel inspired and witchy even though I'm just doing the office work <laughs> you know I also have this elephant thingy that was like 80 cent but it looks so cute and my favorite thing here is probably this 
little guy which makes me feel like an alchemist from I don't know middle age <laughs> but yeah I really like it this was also I don't know like two euro but yeah I really like this little corner and on the bottom we also have more crystals we have this obsidian pyramid I don't know how to call this one in English but we have some cleansing spray, um, which is my favorite one. Again, not sponsored. This is just really like the best cleansing spray I own. And it lasts super long. We have some small crystals in here that are probably prone to get lost because they're just tiny. There is some dried rosemary that I just like to use for some spells. Also, I'm doing like macrame, so I just sometimes need little pearls and I just think they look cute. <laughs> and we have this one, this little guy here. And actually I asked for a sign from my spirit guides because I had a really rough time the last two or three months. And my mother gifted this little one to me, so I don't know. <laughs> I just think it's a sign. Right now I'm not really happy with this one and I can show you why. That these are just like to kind of prevent this thing from falling down. Like this thing was actually my sleeping room but I thought because I have no space I will just bring it to here so there's at least a little corner where I can do my readings. I really love this one, I got this for so cheap there was one woman she sold so many stones i think for 30 euro including shipping and this was inside so i was really happy then we have selenite there is a little tea candle holder this rainbow crystal and this is probably also one of the like my most favorite crystals of all time and i have been starting to get into tarot like four years ago and I walked into this jewelry store and he also sold so many crystals and I saw this one and I was like okay this is like magical and probably a sign so I got it this is just for decoration because this like stone is so cool I like it very much we have this little butter thing going on which is really light um, it also was like 70 cents in a dollar store and just some stones that I use when I make pick card readings for you guys, so yeah, just like to keep them here. Also, this little candle is from the Goddess Provision, um, and I use it to cleanse the decks because I believe that everything is energy, and also that like vibration can cleanse. So I not only cleanse the decks with smoke, but also with like the spell. And now you can see that actually I keep these things to keep this um, cloth here so it looks nice in the background because actually you would see basically a chair and the floor which i don't think is pretty so and i have more herbs here this is rosemary peppermint peppermint and rosemary so i keep them when i make spells there is um, some incense there is also more here and I don't really like this one, it's too strong for me, but this is my favorite. If you are sensitive to the smell of these things, then definitely go for mask, because I don't know, this is just the best thing ever. I could light it up every single day and it would not make me sick, because I tend to feel sick from too heavy smells. So yeah, if you have the same problem, then go with this one. So we arrived at the last station <laughs> which is my money place and this is this little area here and I just put in some rose petals in here which I think just looks so cute. I also have this little golden candle holder because it's connected to like wealth. When you think about the colors like gold is definitely connected to wealth. <laughs> I also have this little just glass thingy where I just put everything inside. I also wrote down my intentions a while ago and I um, stored them in here so kind of the energy is together. And in here I just have bay leaves and I wrote down my 
um, manifestation wishes on them, but I'm not going to show you now. Um, but yeah, there's like something written on it. There is a sunflower inside. Also there is citrine because citrine is also connected to wealth and money. Um, when you reach out for crystals, there is lavender inside. Um, also cinnamon because cinnamon also is really good when you want to manifest money. There is rosemary and also peppermint inside. So basically what I want to do is to um, put something in and just keep the energy flowing. So basically I put everything inside that represents money and wealth and what you don't want to do is like just keep all the dust building up in it because this just represents that your money energy is also stuck and you want to keep it flowing so put things inside, clean it, reorganize it, just show the money that you appreciate it and yeah this is my little area here <laughs> so if you never tried out money balls please go for it it freaking works like magic first clean your apartment like really deeply clean your apartment and then put up a money ball and watch magic happen so just as the sun sets down we are done with my little sacred space tour through my apartment i hope you enjoyed it and please let me know in the comment section down below how your sacred space looks like and i will see you guys in the next video